Well, as the opening line of the Band Aid song says, it's Christmas time. And I've recently just been packing up some records here to give to a friend for a Christmas present. And I'm not the only one. Lots of people are buying records for Christmas presents. It's a very popular thing to buy. However, the thing with buying someone a record is, what are they going to play it on? Now, not everybody is a geek like me and has a hi-fi system with huge amounts of um, boxes all stacked up in a corner of a room. And you can buy modern hi-fi equipment. And we're just going to look at some on the internet in a minute. But what I want to show you is how you can do something just that little bit better without spending any more money. This is what I mean. I've just found this hi-fi system on Amazon. It's called a Steepletone Capital Music Stack System. If we look at the picture in full size, we can see it's got a record deck, it's got twin tape, it's got a double CD, it's got a tuner. You would think this is all singing, all dancing, everything you could possibly need. But I can tell you one thing about this system. It's going to be crap. It's going to be rubbish. It's going to be plastic. It's going to have a really bad cassette deck, which probably doesn't even have a proper erase head. The speakers are going to be awful. And how much is this system? £364. Let's go and look at something else. Now, I have no idea what this is going to sound like, but this is a Panasonic micro system. And if we look at it, we can see it's got two speakers and it's basically a CD player and possibly a radio and a Bluetooth receiver. So that might be not too bad. And that's nearly £100. No turntable. Now, this is something that looks slightly better. If we look at the picture, this is basically a turntable with a pair of active speakers. It's got an Audio-Technica moving magnet cartridge, which is always a good sign and it's got all the usual things you'd expect on the back of one of these. It's got a phono line um, output, so you can hook that up to another amp, um, but it has got an amplifier built in to power the speakers. So in essence, this is basically a record player, and this retails at £219. So it's still quite a lot of money, but this is the kind of budget I am thinking for this project. The first thing then that you're going to need is a good pair of loudspeakers. Now speakers come in all shapes and sizes and they also come in various price ranges. But good speakers like these that are commonly known as bookshelf speakers won't set you back a fortune. I've just removed the cover. You can see there it's got a good size base cone which is about six and a half inches and it's also got a dome tweeter. These are actually made by a company fairly local to where I live called Haybrook who are no longer in business but you do see their equipment around. Now any type of speaker this kind of size can vary in price as I mentioned before but it's not unusual to be able to pick up a good pair of speakers for between 20 and 40 pounds. So when we're looking at speakers, here we've got a pair of Sony 120 watt speakers there. They're big and chunky and they're only 30 quid. Yeah, they look pretty good. They're gonna sound okay. They're rated at uh, four ohms and 120 watts. That's probably peak power. So they're probably only gonna be, you know, 30 or 40 watts. But you know what? They are gonna sound a hundred times better than any speaker you're likely to find on Amazon at that sort of price. Now we have our speakers, the next thing we need is a good amplifier. After all, the amplifier is the heart of any hi-fi system. This amplifier here is a mid-90s amp made by Sony. It's in its distinctive black colour and it has a mirage of inputs and outputs. As well as the two tape inputs, we've got an auxiliary input, a CD input, a tuner input, and the most important of all, a phono preamp input. This is important because a lot of modern amps don't actually have an input for a phono. So if you were to use a turntable with your hi-fi system, you would either need a separate preamp or you'd need a turntable with a built-in preamp stage. I actually managed to pick this amp up off Facebook Marketplace for £50 and I think that was an absolute bargain for the quality that you get. 
Now here we've got a Cambridge audio amplifier which is priced at £30 and it's got bass, treble, volume, balance and it's got your inputs. What it doesn't have is a phono input. So an amp like this would do you well if you were going to just have a CD player and a tuner or plug your phone into a pair of speakers, that'd be fine. Like the amplifier, this CD player is also from the mid-90s. This is made by Technics. I'm a big fan of Technics CD players, not least because the CD player I have on one of my main systems I have owned since 1989, and touch wood, it's never let me down since that point in time. Now a CD player like this, which has excellent sound quality, is not going to break the bank either. You can find one of these between about 15 and 30 pounds. Sometimes you can get a real bargain, but other times you might pay 40 or 50 pounds for one, but you'll get a real top end deck. You pay your money, you get your choice, but you're not talking a lot of money either way for something that will give you so many hours of uncompressed pleasure. One last thing to point out with a deck like this, they will play CDR discs quite happily, but most times they won't play CDs encoded with MP3 files. But then again, why would you want to play that on a proper hi-fi system? I'd suggest if you wanted to go down the route of playing MP3 files, then plug in your phone, tablet or computer into the tape input of the amp. Here's something that might be a bit of a sledgehammer to crack a nut. This is a Sony CD player that you can actually put in 200 CDs. So it's like a big auto changer. So it's basically like your iPod, but using actual CDs. And look at the price, they only want 50 quid for it. I would say if that's working, that's an absolute bargain of the week. Here we've got a Denon unit. Now this is actually a DVD player, but the thing is you can pop a CD in. It's got fast forward and backwards skip controls and you've got a search control. So this will function exactly the same as a normal CD player. But the thing is with this, it's only 20 quid. That to me is an absolute bargain. And this is what I mean. This CD, this DVD player will outperform an awful lot of CD players. And also if you've got music that's on a DVD disc or a blue or a similar type of high res audio file, chances are it may play it as well. So if it's a DVD that's just had the audio encoded, not DVD audio or Blu-ray audio, just a normal DVD, that will still play. But we're talking about CDs and that will certainly play your CDs for you. Well, here's a turntable that I paid just £10 for via an advert on Facebook Marketplace. And it looks to be something rather special. It's not quite as special as what you may think, but actually it's pretty good. Now you might think this is the standard DJ deck, the SL1200 made by Technics. It's even got a little pop-up light there, but it isn't. It's a look-alike-y, but it's not a bad look-alike-y. If I take the slip mat off, you can see underneath here, this is actually a direct drive turntable, which is actually pretty good for a budget deck. However, it came with this look-alike-y Technic slip mat, and you can probably see there, it's absolutely grotty as anything. So this is going in the bin. It has a standard removable head shell, which is quite a nice feature, because that way you can keep another head shell if you want to use a different style cartridge. For example, if you're playing mono records because it's a lot of talk that a good mono cartridge is actually give you better audio reproduction of a mono record than using a stereo cartridge. This deck has also got other features that a standard DJ deck would have, such as a sliding pitch controller. But again, you probably won't need to use this just for normal listening. It's got a good quality counterweight at the back, so you can balance up the tracking force on your stylus okay. And it even comes with a little adapter for playing singles, albeit a plastic one. The only thing we need to sort out now is that horrible slip mat. This was actually the answer. This is a good quality rubber slip mat that I bought from a DJ company on eBay and it only cost me 12 pounds. And we just pop it on top of the deck as so and now we have a really good turntable that will play records to a great sound quality. Now these sort of things, these suitcase record players that you see everywhere, these you want to avoid. They are just horrible. They're made of cheap plastic materials. 
the spindle in the middle of the deck doesn't rotate so the record is always rubbing against the spindle so you're always getting friction they've got piddly little speakers on they are just the pits absolute rubbish now here's a deck this is made by sony now this is a quite an expensive turntable compared to the others in that it's about 200 quid but the thing with sony turntables is that generally they're pretty good but here though someone has got an absolute classic this is a pioneer pl 112d now this is the same turntable that my father bought in 1976 they're asking 80 quid for it i can tell you now that deck is going to sound amazing that deck is better than anything you would pay three or four hundred pounds for now and here's a deck very much like this one i'm talking about this is made by newmark it's a direct drive turntable it's missing its lid admittedly but other than that it says it's working and it's fine let's see how much it is there you go it's only 50 quid so for 50 quid you can have a pretty decent turntable certainly as your first starter turntable for playing records you're going to get pretty good sound reproduction from a deck like this Okay, again, because I don't want to get a content match, I'm just spinning a bit of library music. But I can tell you, standing here, this deck is sounding really, really good through this system. So for less than £150, you've got a good pair of speakers, a good direct drive turntable, a good CD player, and at the heart of it, a very good quality amplifier. Now, there's one component left that you may be wondering why I haven't included, and that will be this. This cassette deck set me back a whopping £10 off Facebook Marketplace. The only thing wrong with it was it needed a new set of belts and the complete set of belts for this deck was about £15. So for £25 all in all, I had a fully working cassette deck. You may also need to get yourself a new set of pinch rollers, but again, you're not gonna break the bank to do it. And there we have it, all the components you need for many hours of happy listening with good quality sound and all for less than the price of an Amazon all-in-one system that sounds absolutely terrible and will give you no pleasure whatsoever.